The guy that made this, guy by the name of Steve Kalina, was who handmade this Hurley Kill and the previous one that I played. And so we started making it. He said, okay, here's what we're going to do. And he started getting all the materials together. And oh, I'll pull up a list. I've got all the specs on this thing and beautiful materials. It's got really nice pickups, uh, ebony skunk tail, rosewood fretboard, just beautiful, a beautiful instrument. And um, he shipped it all the way from Finglass. It's a neighborhood in North Dublin to my home outside Chicago. And, yeah, I, every time I play anything, I just pick this thing up and play it. It's just... Out of all the guitars I play, I think this one is the one I pick up and just kind of play the most because it's small. You can sit at your desk on your bed. It's not going to interfere. It's just that's a good sound. You can plug it into an amp and you can put gain in it and play rock songs, or you can just sit down and quietly play in the evening because it's slightly quieter when it's acoustic, but also very full. And the interesting thing with this is other people have made guitars out of hurling sticks, and a hurling stick is uh, it's a sport. Think of it like a different kind of lacrosse, which is a gross oversimplification but that's the closest thing we have in the states would be lacrosse it's imagine taking like a wooden lacrosse stick which is which is this shape here you would there would be a dish right here where the soundboard is where you would uh, hold the ball and then kind of hit you can also hit the ball as well which is where it differs from lacrosse and he literally carved it out this or border on the outside is the actual hurling stick and the people have made electric guitars out of hurling sticks because all you need is a pickup. You don't need a sound hole or a sound box, which this has a full sound box in it. And that's where it, that's where it comes unique is that it is a one of a kind instrument. And the name Hurley Kyol comes from hurling. The stick is often called is called a hurley, and then Kyol is Irish for music. But around the sound hole, it says "Love and music are eternal" in Irish, which I think is very true. So this next song is called Johnny Jump Up by my favorite Irish band, Gaelic Storm. And like all Irish songs, it has a story behind it. Um, this one is about a man who goes into uh, the pub for a nice, quiet pint. Um, so the sun, it was bright, the day it was warm. I, a quiet pint, wouldn't do me no harm. He goes into the pub and the bar, yes for a stout. And the barman says, we're all, we're all out. <laughs> so he tries cider. Yeah, the cider is so strong it knocks him back. He's like, oh, never again. So I try the Johnny Jump Up, which is the type of cider. And the story goes on to talk about more people who have the cider as well, and it has like almost a magical property to it. He gives it to a, had a man who had six pints, but he, he causes him to go to the loony bin, to the asylum, because he goes crazy from just having too many pints of uh, cider. But yeah, that, it's, a, it's a fun, and that's it's pop song. But yeah. This is Johnny Jump Up. I'll tell you a story that happened to me A day went to your by the sea The sun it was bright, the day it was warm Says I, a quiet pint, wouldn't do me no harm I went to the barman, I said give me a stout To the barman, I'm sorry, oh dear, just hold out Try whiskey or vodka, ten years in the wood Says I, I'll try cider, I've heard that it's good Oh never, oh never, oh never again If I live to a hundred or a hundred and ten I threw to the ground and I couldn't get up After drinking a pint of the Johnny Jump Up To Lauren the third, I headed straight for the yard Where I bumped into Brophy, the big civic guard Come here to me, boy, don't you know I'm the law? Well, I yelled with my fist and I shattered his jaw. He fell to the ground with his knees doubled up. Truth wasn't, I hit him with a Johnny jump up. And the next thing I met down in your by the sea was a cripple on crutches and says he to me, I'm afraid of me life, I'll be hit by a car. Would you help me across to the railway man's bar? And after three pints of that cider so sweet, he threw down his crutches and he danced to his feet. Oh, never, oh, never, oh, never again. If I live to a hundred or a hundred and ten. Cause I fell to the ground and I couldn't get up. After drinking a pint of the Johnny Jumper. Went up 
the Lee Road, a friend for to see. They call it the Madhouse in Cork by the Lee. But when he got up there, the truth I do tell, they had the poor bugger locked up in his cell. Says the guard testing him, say these words if you can. Go round the record rocks, the record rocks go round. And to them I'm not crazy, tell them I'm not mad. Twas only six pints of that cider I had. Now a man died in the Union by the name of MacNab. They washed him and placed him outside on a slab. And after the coroner's measurements did take, his wife took him home to a bloody fine wake. It was about twelve o'clock and the beer which was high. The corpse, he sat up and he says with a sigh, I can't get to heaven, they won't let me up, till I bring them a pint of the Johnny Jump Up. Oh never, oh never, oh never again, if I live to a hundred or a hundred and ten. I fell to the ground and I couldn't get up After drinking a pint of the Johnny Jump Up Oh never, oh never, oh never again If I lived to a hundred or a hundred and ten I fell to the ground and I couldn't get up After drinking a pint of the Johnny Jump Up